after two years of rumors that spoiled pretty much every single detail, AirTux finally came out, at a surprisingly low price even, if you consider that they are an Apple product and pretty much everyone was expecting them to be way more expensive than just 29 bucks. Thus, I did the unthinkable and Despite the simplicity of their concept, they still have many flows. So here there are some of the ones I found, some less and some way more important, and also some of the possible solutions. First problem, aesthetically they look very good, better than basically the entire competition, but they are too glossy. And this is not even a new problem for Apple, for some reason they always like those shiny metallic surfaces, even back in the iPod days if you remember. They probably believe that people are so stupid they will buy anything if it's shiny and pretty enough. And they are right. And yeah, sure, they look very, very pretty in the official renders and for the first 5 minutes after the unboxing, but this is how they will actually look for the rest and majority of the lifetime. So here's the very obvious and easy fix. Just make it matte. Maybe for a second revision or something. The second problem is that they are thick. Well, to be fair, this isn't really a problem for how Apple intended them to be used. There's a reason a singular AirTag costs so little. They want you to buy a keychain or a loop, and they want you to show it. The AirTag is meant to hang outside the bag or whatever else you attach it to, not to be hidden inside. And in that case, the volume isn't that important, I guess. But they still don't fit in many wallets, for example. So, how could this problem be solved? Probably like Tile did by making you buy a new model, you peasant. I designed it in the most obvious way possible because, I mean, it's a card shape here, like what did you expect? But no, rest assured, I didn't design this whole thing in just 20 seconds. There are some details I thought of that at the very least made me waste 30 seconds. First of all, one of the things I really like about the AirTex is the removable battery, not something I would have ever expected from Apple. And sure, it requires you to physically change the battery every year. I know, a tragedy, but at least there's no degrading battery that you can't remove and that would make the entire AirTag useless after just a couple of years. So if they made an AirTag card, I'd really like if they kept the removable battery somehow. The other detail is that if you buy AirTags directly from Apple, you can add this personalized engraving. And it obviously makes sense, it makes it easier to immediately differentiate all your various tags, but this is a card. So there's a space for at least two engravings before it looks too bad. Also, I already talked about the obvious wallet use case, but really they could be used for many other situations. Basically, whenever you have a pocket in something that's big enough to contain a card, or even just for bags where you don't want hanging air tags, I guess. AirTag cards would probably be sold for a bit more than standard AirTags to compensate for the fact that they cannot sell you additional accessories this time. And the third problem is about security. This one is probably the biggest problem AirTags have. AirTags are obviously meant to track things, but theoretically they could also be used to stalk people. They are very small and inexpensive after all. Apple at the announcement event say that they obviously knew about this problem, and they came up with this solution. If your iPhone notices that there's an AirTag that's not yours, that's moving with you, but not with its owner, it'll tell you. Then the problem is solved, right? Well, no. The solution has at least two problems. First, it won't tell you immediately. It'll wait until you come home. And I don't know how they will determine what's your home with precision, but that's not the point. They do this to avoid false positives. Well, then you come home, you check the notification that tells you that an air attack has been following you, you deactivate it, but then the stalker knows where you live. So, is that really a solution? Second, this whole home thing will only work if you have an iPhone. I don't have to tell you why this can't work, do I? And that is in theory. In practice, it has also been demonstrated how that's not even the case. So, how do we fix this problem? I've been thinking about it for a while, but I have no clue. Every idea I could think of presents other different problems. But honestly, if Apple hasn't found a way to fix this problem in the two years they had before launching the product, how am I supposed to do it in like less than one month? To make them more secure, they probably have to compromise on functionality and they could become useless very easily. I don't know if they could directly be banned by some countries, but that is a possibility to consider, I think. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if you want. Ciao!